Kellen, you know, if you said that sort of your your passion was ignited with the whole bank bailout, and I'm not mm -hmm. I'm not going to get stuck on this at all, okay. but but I'm just curious um, if things were as dire as we were being told, and all the expert e economists basically in Washington seem to be in agreement and elsewhere on this this point. What do you think should have been done? Do you, do you not believe? Do you think that these banks should have been should have been uh, okay to fail? I mean, not too big to fail. Would it have been fine to yeah. have survival of the fittest and you reap what you're, you sow and all that? You know, I'm not going to go ahead and say we should have let them fail completely, but I think with the amount of money spent, with the amount of mid-level banks that are out there, thousands and thousands that ended up folding because they didn't get bailouts mm -hmm. and these larger banks did, I mean, that's the way the capitalist system works is the ones at the top, if, if they're responsible, they fail and the other ones come up. So what you saw, you saw the, these middle tier banks, thousands of them fold across the nation, while the biggest ones just had their largest bonus season ever. Um, so, you know, when you look at the amount of money spent, the, the solutions that could have been implemented, uh, given some real creative thought and some outside the boxing, I guess, because mm -hmm. what you have now is the people who orchestrated this entire collapse are, are now creating economic policy. Right. And, and that's one of the biggest outrages on, on Main Street, too, because we're being played by, for the sucker, because what? these yeah. these small businesses are the people protesting. That's 99% of American business. They're the one not seeing any lending. They're the ones that do the actual hiring for the economy. So when you have the government saying, we need to get lending again so we can create jobs, and we're also going to give the government some money to create jobs, at the end of the day, the real economic driver of this country, the small businesses, are standing there with nothing still.